Hello, fabulous superstar Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July, 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal start to this astrological month. We will still be in a period of eclipses, an extended period at that, which began early last month. It is going to be right around the 5th of this month that we will have a lunar eclipse. That'll bring this extended eclipse season to a close, but will also be taking place in a supremely harmonious placement for you, fellow earth sign Capricorn. Now this is a part of the sky that has to do with what the heart truly desires. It has to do with you feeling more in love with every part of your life, an awakening passion for every part of your life. Creative endeavors are covered here. Children as well, children you want or children that you have can be covered here as well. And what I'm so excited about with this lunar eclipse is that it is speaking in supreme harmony with the Uranus. And what that suggests is surprise and delight. The lunar eclipse brings things full circle, helps to bring a sense of fruition, even closure. But it is that energy of Uranus that is fresh and exciting and new. It speaks to things changing very quickly in a way that feels like a blessing. So for some of you out there, this is going to be a time when you are feeling truly connected to what you really want in your heart of hearts and understanding more clearly how it is that you're going to align with it, how it is you're going to manifest it. And this may be a time that is especially creatively fulfilling. If you use your creativity to your advantage and professionally as well, this can be a time when you feel like there are rewards there uh, that feel remarkable, that help to take what you do to a larger audience or onto a bigger stage. Now, this may also be a time that expands your understanding of what's possible for you and expands your understanding of how it is that you can align with a more fulfilling life. If it is that you want children or you have children, this can be good news on those fronts as well. Now keep in mind with energy like this, your fertility can be a surprise. And so if that's something you wanna work with, great. If not, there are lots of other ways to manifest this energy as well. Now, as we navigate later into the month, it will be right around the 20th that we are going to have this month's new moon. Think back to last month because it was last month that we had a solar eclipse, which is essentially a new moon, but a very powerful new moon. And it happened at the very beginning of its respective sign. Uh, there was a real sense of things being at their very beginning. New ideas, new possibilities, but Mercury retrograde. By the time we get to this new moon this month, well, it is taking place in the same part of the sky, but towards the end of its respective sign which means that along with a beginning that new moon's promise, there's also a sense of things coming full circle. There's also a sense of culmination or completion. And there's also a sense here of new beginnings taking root. It is Saturn that is across the sky from this new moon with precision. And that brings with it practical energy. That brings with it a solid sense of traction, and that new beginning being something that allows you to manifest as well. It isn't just a dream or a hope or something that's an idea that is part of the beginning, but what is showing up in your life in a more practical way. Now for you, this new moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with friendships. It has to do with group endeavors, and it is also related to your understanding of your hopes and your wishes and bigger opportunities for your life. I do think a lot of Virgos out there are going to feel new opportunities in relation to groups. However, they come with um, a serious sense of responsibility. So whether it is professional and there's a financial element to it, but you're having to make compromises, uh, whether it is professional, but there isn't necessarily a financial element to it, and that is part of the sacrifice or the compromise now, it is going to be a moment like this that asks you to take into consideration what is the cost, what is the benefit, what are you being asked to give, what responsibility are you taking on, and if it's worth it. It doesn't look like a perfect answer, but it does look like you're able to weigh and bring a compromise within you that you can feel good about.
Now for others, this is gonna be related to a friendship. And for some, there may be a sense of wanting to either begin again with a friend or having to address a matter with a friend, but it feels as if there are factors there that are less than desirable. Again, the key here is compromise. Whether or not the compromise is worth the work is going to be deeply personal and your answers are gonna be all your own. There may be a sense that if you align with certain people, it could bring more professional opportunity into your life. And that may come with a mixed bag of feelings as well. It looks like there aren't a lot of guarantees here. And yet there is the possibility to be honest with yourself as to what you're doing and why you're doing it and whether or not it's worth it. And from there, being able to make decisions and choices that feel right to you. Now, where it comes to matters of love, a couple of things I wanna point out here. It is gonna be at the end of the month that Venus will leave shadow. Last month, Venus went direct. But as we move towards the last days of this month, we are going to have Venus uh, connecting with Neptune before leaving shadow. So think back to what was happening around the middle of May. What is transpiring now in love may very likely be hearkening to what was taking place for you back then. But for all that, this is gonna feel like a time when a larger love-related lesson or cycle culminates for a lot of Virgos out there. But I do think that that lunar eclipse in a heart-oriented part of the sky in addition to the things I mentioned, also has to do with flirtation and romance. Well, that can speak to things moving very quickly in the context of love. So if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, it is that lunar eclipse that can bring a very surprised flirtation. It may be a flirtation that takes you aback or is from a, a place that you least expected it and while you are navigating the world where you were least expecting it but it does seem to bring delight it opens your heart and allows you to consider the options available to you in the context of love for those of you who are just starting to date somebody i love that lunar eclipse energy for you it is that energy that will invite you to consider whether or not there is a heart connection here. And if you feel that there is, that can develop very quickly, deepen very quickly at this time. But what's also possible if you're just getting to know someone, this particular lunar eclipse can bring you new options that take you in a whole other direction. For those of you who are in an established bond, I do love that energy in the early part of the month for you because that lunar eclipse does speak to a heart awakening and a heart opening. There is a sense of being more connected to your partner and perhaps having the spontaneous opportunity to do something romantic together. If it is that you have children or you want children, this can be a time when good news on those fronts does find you. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here that I, of course, I'm gonna say that lunar eclipse because it is so harmoniously aspected to Uranus. It tells me that there is possibility here. There is potential here. There's a sense of easy change that ultimately opens up more in your life, in your heart. And this is an energy of luck. I would add this part of the sky can also speak to luck itself. And so if anybody should be trusting their intuition to buy that lottery ticket right around these days, as I like to say, don't bet the farm. You really don't want to do that. But where it is that it isn't a big deal and you're in an energy of abundance, it may be a good idea to wager a bet of some kind under the light of this lunar eclipse. You've got that much more cosmic support for feeling as if you've tapped into winnings. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.